How's it going guys? We are back in the video here and this video is going to be the must-have X Factors in NHL 23 hot right now. There's really not many that I think are must to have on your team, alright? I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, but let's get into it now, alright? So, really on my list is a very small amount of cards and because really there aren't that many that I feel like are just the best in the game, alright? Make sure you guys leave a like though if you haven't already, but let's get into this already now. So, here we go. Starting off with the first one, to me, this might be a little bit of a hot take, but I really think Matthew Barzell is a must. I really do. And, and the reason why, I mean, he's one of the best cards in the entire game, okay? So, right now, he's up to 89 overall, his tier. And let me tell you guys, this card is exceptional. 6'1", 190, all right? Those are synergies, well-rounded, magician, protector, gladiator, heart and soul, uh, then he also has Distributor, Workhorse, Buzzing, Spark, and Fly the Zone, which is very, very good. Uh, then he also has Light the Lamp as well. But, guys, with Fly the Zone active, he's got 97 speed. I don't think there's anyone in the game that has 97 speed besides McDavid's primetime card. It is an absolutely insane, insane like speed card. He also has Gold Elite Edges, which is a really nice ability as well. He is absolutely fantastic. And even put Heart and Soul on, gets his face-offs up, his endurance up, get Light the Lamp on, helps his shot out. I mean, there's just so many positives with this card. It's not even funny. It's such a good card. And I truly believe you guys really should take advantage of getting this card if you can. If you if you get him in your choice pack, unless it's, again, the other four people I'm about to mention are in that pack, please, 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 please do what's right and, and, and make sure you make the right pick and take this Barzell because he is... Very, very good, guys. Very good, all right? So, Matthew Barzell is uh, up on the list. So, moving on to the next card now, though. This next card is a guy that also, to me, is just very obvious. And it's just no question. It is going to be none other than Kale McCarr. So, here's a few reasons why as well. Before I even look at his actual card, we already know how good he is. The bottom line is... He's getting a Team of the Year. Makar is getting a Team of the Year card. There's no question. He won everything last year. He won the Cup, the Conn Smythe, the Norris. I mean, Makar is very, very deserving of, of, of being one of the best cards in the game, and he really is. So uh, looking at his 89 overall, this guy's going to be at least a 91 probably when Team of the Year comes out. 5'11", 187 pounds. Yes, you could say it's a little bit small, but that doesn't really matter, okay? Protector... Gladiator, Dangle City, Magician, and Heart and Soul are the synergy options for him in his first tier. Then you have Light the Lamp, Bombarded, and Applesauce. And I'm sure at a certain point, he will get a speed synergy uh, unlocked. And then his Accelerate will be 98 or 97. Or, I mean, it'll be crazy. So, uh, what a card. What a card. He's got Silver Heat Seeker, Silver Seeing Eye, Gold Elite Edges here as well. So, uh, that's very, very good as well. I mean, that's very good. So, uh, I'm a huge fan uh, of of this card. I mean, it's so good to me. You can't you can't argue. I mean, this card is definitely one of the best cards in the game. I mean, and he's a must, really. He is. AD Bajang is a little bit concerning. I can't deny that. However, it's still very exceptional. This card. I mean, and, and that's also not deniable. So, uh, yeah, Kale McCarr to me, he's one of the best ones to have in the entire game. All right. Now let's move on to the next one. Now, and the next one is going to be. Nathan McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon has to be a must. He just does. Six foot, 200 pounds. All right, his synergy options are Dangle City. Seems like everybody has Dangle City. Uh, Well-rounded, heart and soul, gladiator, magician. And then, of course, they gave him Fly the Zone, wingman, and buzzing. Okay, so with Fly the Zone, he gets up to 96 speed. He has 94 acceleration. All right, that's insane. If you have, if you have Magician active, 95 agility. His shot's excellent. 90, 90, 92, 89. His abilities, he's got Puck and a String. You know, that one's really not that great unless you obviously make a lot of deeks. Uh, then he has Silver Wheels, though. That is amazing. Silver Wheels is so good. That's what made Makar's X-Factor so good last year as well. It's such a good ability to have, and it really makes a huge difference when you're just trying to straight line by people, 100%. So, uh, no, I love Nathan McKinnon's X-Factor card. It's one of the best ones you guys can have, 100%. And to me, a must in the game still. All right? So, uh, he also has Silver Make It Snappy, which... You know, that's not bad. I mean, if you like to take a lot of wrist shots, it could be a pretty decent ability to use. You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big Make It Snappy fan. Like, I don't activate it typically, but, you know, I understand why you would, right? All right, now, uh, he also has Gold Ankle Breaker, which, again, this card's more of like a... 
this could be a really fun card to use if you're someone who likes, likes to like make a lot of like dekes, you know, like an ankle breaker, puck and a string. But realistically, unfortunately, in NHL, deking does not really work. And it's really not as effective as, you know, LTing or some other potential ways to get around opponents, which is unfortunate, but that's just how it is. Uh, but now moving on to the next card now. Uh, I'm going to say Matthews, okay? So maybe Matthews is a hot take for some people, but I don't know how it could be because he has that chance of getting Team of the Year, first of all, all right, which is a huge advantage. 6-3-2-0-8, all right? People already are starting to say like, oh, you know, but but he's he's slow. I, I just don't buy that. I just don't buy that, okay? So yes, he's 89 Excel, 88 Agility, 87 Balance, 85 Endurance, 90 Speed. 90 Speed's not bad for a 6-3 centerman. I really believe that. And the thing about him is, again, if he gets that team of the year, you trade him in, and maybe that team of the year is even more juice and crazy and has like 93 speed or something, and obviously it upgrades. I mean, come on. That's that's a good card. And already he's a good card as X Factor. Uh, but yeah, Fly Zone, I've active on him. Workhorse, Fly Zone, Wingman, Distributor, Buzzing, uh, also Gladiator, uh, or Dangle City. Okay, so those are some other uh, synergy options for him. But his face offs are 84. Uh, which is, you know, that's not amazing, let's be real, but it's it's certainly okay. Uh, then his abilities are silver, puck and a string, silver, make it snappy, and then gold, shock and awe, which I feel like gold, shock and awe is really not as effective this year. I think it's kind of just not as good. I don't know. I, I, I find that at least to be the case. Maybe I'm wrong, but his shot's insane too, guys. Let's be honest for a second. 95, 91, 94, 91, and, and it's a card that's 89 overall. It's only going to get better and, and a lot better as well. So to me, you'd be really silly to say this is not a must. I mean, how many X Factors are really better than Matthews? And you could say, oh, they're faster. Oh, David, who has really as good of a shot as him? And the size and the center capability? Not many. Not many. All right. Last but not least, we all know who it is. I think I probably didn't have to even mention him. Connor McDavid. It's the best card in the game. I really, you can't change my mind. I mean, you can say Lemieux or Gretzky, but I really still don't think you can even say that. He's 6'1", 193. I mean, he has 96 acceleration and 96 speed. McDavid's cards in game just always feel like just different. I don't know how to explain it. Feels different than every other card. He just feels just extra good. I don't know how to explain it other than that. He has booming shot, light the lamp, thief, applesauce, bombarded. He also has well-rounded magician and protector. His abilities are ankle breaker, puck on a string, big rig, and then of course, gold wheels, which makes this card just absurd. On my PlayStation team, I do have this card, and there is times where I literally just take the puck from my own end and just straight up the middle, just skate, and it's it's over. It's gone. Like, I'm gone. It's 100% a breakaway, and it's like I score every time, pretty much, because this shot's also great. 92, 88, 95, 89. Rich High Accuracy is 95. That's crazy. Even his face-offs aren't bad this year, either. That's what's really intriguing about him. 85, which is really encouraging. So, and, and with Thief, you can have 88. So, really good card. Really good card. And to me, you know, that's they, those are the most, I would say, the most must have X factors. All right. You can make the case for some other guys. You could say, oh, you know, you could make the case and say Hedman, right? I'll give you Hedman because Hedman's 6'6, 244. But right now, he has no speed sin. Until he gets a speed sin, I don't think he really has as effective Hedman. I really don't. Uh, he's got Silver Shutdown, he's got Gold Stick him Up, which I do like a lot. Hedman is definitely on the verge of being a must, I'd say. But other than that, Yossi's interesting as well because he might be getting a Team of the Year. And he always plays pretty well in-game, Yossi. But that's really it, honestly. I really wouldn't say anyone else is really a must. Uh, I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. I, I don't know what you guys think. Let me know if my rankings are a little bit uh, bad or, or what. Just let me know, though. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik at three E's. And join Discord talk to me. Follow and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.